Matt, um, yesterday Kyle was talking about how you guys have kind of worked together this season. You know, one of the things Arthur Blank said, he really likes the fact that Kyle has been willing to listen. Can you talk about that and, you know, how he's been more willing to listen to things and your suggestions and... Yeah, I mean, I, I think things. Kyle's done a great job. Uh, he really has. I mean, all year of, um, you know, listening and, 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 you know, also, you know, getting, giving... Uh, advice too. I mean, he he's been he's been really really solid all year and done a great job. We worked really well together, and um, you know I'm I'm proud of the way that you know the the entire staff and, and players have come together. Not just Kyle and, and myself, but you know really our entire staff connecting with our players and the guys connecting with each other. I think that's been a big uh, part of our success this year. I know in the game, typically you can change things when when you want to. Can you take me back to maybe one moment in a game this year where Kyle was like, wow, Matt, that was a great <laughs> change on your part. Uh, I mean, that's stuff we talk about. Most of the stuff is, you know, we, we talk about during the week. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and I think he's open to suggestions. I, I think we checked out of something. I think it was against New Orleans, changed the route, uh, and, and hit a completion to Aldrick Robinson on the right side, a big game for like 20 yards or something like that. And it was just – that was an example of, of us working together during the week, talking about a certain look and – how the play we had on might not be good, but if we change it to something else, it would work. And uh, it's just small stuff like that that have happened throughout the year that have helped us. It seems like in years past, you guys could get a lead in the game, but it would still always come down to be a one possession game. But this year, you guys seem to have that killer instinct a little more. Is that something you've noticed about this team? Step on their throat. Uh, you know, I think we talk about finish all the time. Dan talks about it all the time of, of how there comes a time in every game where you have the opportunity to finish. And you don't know when it's going to be. I mean, it could come at, you know, any time. And so uh, we're, we feel like we're always prepared for whatever that situation may be. Uh, and I think we have done a good job of that this year. Is that part of the third quarter team huddle you had last in last week's game? No, not really. You know, that was just about kind of keeping our composure. We talked about um, before, you know, the, bye, the extra week you had, you worked on your footwork a little bit. And you know, Kyle yesterday saying a season as a whole, you've gotten a lot better with, you know, your back to the defense. What do you think has really um, stepped up in your game, especially in this week that you're focusing on from what you did in, against Seattle? Yeah, I think it's I think it's more of the same. I, I think it's you find one or two things specifically, uh, you know, within our game plan and my footwork within the plan that that we want to be on top of, uh, and we certainly have those things, um, you know, that we've worked on this week. But I, I feel like that narrow focus and, and concentrating, you know, specifically on a thing here or a thing there has helped us this entire year. I know you don't play defense. Aaron Rodgers doesn't play defense, but when you have a matchup with two high-powered offenses, the quarterbacks, does it almost feel like you're in a duel against Aaron Rodgers? Not really. I mean, he's a great player, and I've played against him a number of times, and and uh, you know he's going to make plays during the game. I mean, you know that's what that's what great quarterbacks do. Uh, you know, but my focus the entire week and, and really on Sunday is about what we as an offense need to do against their defense, and uh, you know I don't spend too much time thinking about. Uh, how we're going to stop him. Our, our defense has done a great job of that. But when he's on the other side, though, do you have a sense that maybe that just kind of adds pressure to you and your offense to score him and to outscore him? I really feel like we've had that mindset all year, you know, that, that you know, regardless of how games shake out, we feel like we need to score every time we touch it. And, and we've done a, a good job and we have that belief. You know, it's not going to happen, but we have that belief that every time we get it, we can put points up there. Similar vein, Matt. I mean, you scored with 31 seconds left in the game to win in the regular season. All of a sudden, Rodgers has 35 seconds, four more seconds. As a quarterback, do you think about stuff like that? Like just four seconds can make that much of a difference at the end of the game? Well, for sure. Uh, you know, you, you never – games aren't over until, you know, it's triple zeros. And, uh, you know, so you never know, especially when you're going against a great player like Aaron. I mean, he's – the thing I think about him is, is he's a great competitor. Uh, regardless of the situation, he competes as well as anybody in this league and has made a lot of plays at the end of games. But, uh, you know, as an offense, you got to score when you can score. You can't worry about that. That's, uh, that's our defense's job. Matt, uh, <clears throat> Coach was talking yesterday about you going from really good to great, and it's like something clicked. I, I heard you say that you having more fun, taking some pressure off yourself, and then going out and doing it. But what are you doing, perhaps a little bit differently, that is that is just giving you this fantastic season as opposed to a lot of real good ones? Yeah, you know, I think it's just little things. You know, um, we talk about trying to get one percent better all the time, and um, you know, the difference in this league of one percent, you know, is 
it's a play here or a play there. Um, you know, I think the thing I've been most excited about our offense and our team this year has been the way that we protected the ball. I think, you know, that was a point of emphasis for us during the off season and for myself personally. And I think we've done a good job of, of being really aggressive, but at the same time making really good decisions with the ball. And that's helped us uh, win games. I think that's the number one statistic uh, when you look at wins and losses, it's who wins the turnover battle, and we've done a great job of that this year. I know there's been confidence all week about Julio's status, but was it a gift for you to see him out there on this last day, and how did he look to you? Um, you know, Dan will probably talk more about that, but um, he looked good to me, and, uh, you know, he, he's always a guy who, uh, whether he gets some reps during the week or doesn't, uh, he's, he's always ready to go. Is there ever an inkling of fear inside of you when Julio's not up to 100%? Uh, he's pretty good at whatever percentage he is, you know. Uh, <laughs> he's made a lot of plays less than 100%. And you know what? This time of the year, no one's really feeling uh, exactly perfect. But uh, he's a great competitor. Uh, and, you know, regardless of what he has, he's going to give everything he's got. I know you talked about this before with Julio, but that fade and the fact that you guys have hit on a couple of those this year, how much of a luxury is that for you guys as you go into an important game where that might come up? Yeah, you never know how a game's going to shake out. Uh, when he's gotten his single opportunities down there, which have been few and far between, he's taken advantage of it and shown that, uh, you know, it's tough to do that against him. So he's opened up some things for other people. But uh, I think it's certainly something they have to think about defending. What do you remember about the last one against New Orleans? Uh, he made a great catch. You know, that seems to be the constant in those is, is you just give him an opportunity to make a play on the ball. He's so big, strong, and physical. And then uh, to have the body awareness to get his feet down, it's impressive. We keep hearing that Aaron Rodgers only has like two healthy receivers during the week. As a QB, if you were in his position, what would you do during practice before the game? Yeah, I think, you know, I think all guys are kind of nicked up uh, at this. I think everybody who's played a long time has that situation come up at different times uh, throughout their career. Uh, and that's where you got to trust the guys uh, who are on your practice squad and, and guys who might not be active to go out there and um, you know, give you a full speed look. And, and uh, well, I've been lucky, you know, we, we've had great receivers here, um, you know, guys that might be inactive or, or on the practice squad that can fill in when guys like Julio are out and, and give you a really good look. Now, what do you see as the biggest strength in this Packers defense right now? I think their front four. Uh, their front four does a really good job, uh, both against the run and the pass. Um, you know, they've got some talented guys. They've, they've gotten some pressure. Uh, really, since the last time we played them, their front four has played well, and they've been opportunistic getting the ball away from offenses. So uh, that's something we've got to be on top of. Matt, you may flick this one like one of your passes, this question, but you know the story with them. They're banged up in the, in the secondary and they're ranked 31st. Do you kind of salivate? Obviously, you know this. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think about it too much. I, you know, I, I feel like... We talk about in our locker room, it's about us uh, every week. You know, how we play, we have a standard for ourselves to go out there and play, and we're not really too concerned. I mean, we give them respect and, 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 and know what they're doing, but it's about how we perform and, and how well we can play. Uh, and that's the mindset that, that our uh, receivers, tight ends, and running backs have had all year. Have you had a chance to kind of gauge the excitement in the city about this championship game? Uh, you know, I, I certainly feel like there's a buzz. It's, it's hard to get a gauge of it when, you know, your life consists of driving here to the facility and then driving home. <laughs> so, uh, you know, but you can certainly feel uh, people getting excited about it. And, um, you know, it'd be a lot of fun Sunday. Matt, what do you think of the Packers playoff run, winning eight in a row? And how big of a concern is it for you to face them at this point in the season, a team this hot? Uh, well, you know, um, I think anytime you're playing in this game, you're going to play a good team. Uh, you know, that's that's one of the things about being at this part of the season is uh, you've got the, the best uh, uh, teams, you know, of the year. And so, um, you know, they're a good football team. There's no question about it. They played really well the second half of the season, um, you know, but we're, we're confident. We feel like if uh, we can go out there and do the same things that we've done all year, uh, we can get the same results that we've gotten. Last question. Man, you seem to be in such control of this offense. Have you seen the defense or anything pre-snap that's confused you at any point recently? Is there anything you haven't seen yet? Um, I mean, there's certainly some snaps that happen in games where, you, you know, they might, they might get you. But for the most part, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm seeing things well and, and we're getting ourselves in positions to be successful. Uh, and we've done a really good job of that all year. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you.